Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Grotty GT500. Now this vehicle was just released today into GTA Online and as you can see, it's going to cost you $785,000, which in my opinion, I don't think it's all that bad because it's, you know, it's nice looking. It's based on Ferrari and... You know, I think it looks quite nice. But anyway, guys, we're going to get into the LSC and see what sort of customizations we can do. So you go, my dudes, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Grotty GT500 is in the Sports Classic category. Now, as always, guys, we're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes. And then for the bumper, we've only got two other options. Obviously, we've got the stock, we've got the race lights, and then we've got the race lights with the fog lights. Um... Pfft. <laughs> I'm not in favour of any of these because, I don't know actually, can we get a livery? Let's see if we can get liveries. We can get a livery, so maybe I'll make this into a race car. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the front bumper and I'm going to get... Do I want the fog lamps? I don't think I do. I'm going to go with just the race lights. So then we're going to move over to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. For the exhaust, we've only got two other options for the exhausts. Uh, we do have the big bores. They don't look very big boreish to me, to be honest. They look quite small. And then we've got the side exhausts there, which uh, are called classic exhaust. Oh, man. See, I, I, I do prefer them in the middle. But it says they're big bore, man. They don't look big bore. But I thought I'm going to get them anyway because they do look pretty cool. They look a lot better than the stock ones in my opinion. And I'm not a massive fan of the classic side exhaust either. So, yeah, the big bore it is. Then we're going to move over to the hood. Two options only again. We're, which isn't great, but it uh, looks like that's a pretty good option at the moment. Not bad, not bad at all. Because I like the, uh, you know, the, the, the bonnet pins and stuff like that. They look fucking pretty sweet. Uh... Whether that's changing anything on there that, that's white that we can't see because the car's white, I'm not sure. But we're going to go for the most expensive one for now. So it's going to be the competition hood. So next we're going to move over to the lights. We're going to go to headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Now for the liveries. Here we go. We've got loads of options, man. Hopefully there's some nice looking ones because I do want to make this look like a race car. Uh, we've got, we've got standard grotty, which is pretty cool. I like that. This one's nice, man. The Italia. I really, really like that. That's probably my favourite out of the two top ones. Uh, so a lot of these seem quite basic, but by the looks of that, we've got some white stripes just to pr just above the front arch there, which we can't obviously obviously see too clearly because the car's white as well. That's nice too. So there's some really nice options, man. I really like that one. I like how it, how it feeds off over over the grill. It actually, looks really cool. Uh, it actually suits the white the whiteness of the car as well. So that that livery of the white car actually looks really good. That one looks... I'm, I'm really impressed with all these liveries, man. I'm actually quite happy with the way all of them look. But I think my favourite was this Italia. But I wanted the car to be red. <laughs> which was... Um, which is obviously something we can't really do if we've got a red stripe down it. So, maybe we'll go for one of these. Maybe that one. That one looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, why the fuck not? Let's go with the side stripes for now. So then we're going to go over to the respray. I'm going to go primary colour and into classic because I've got a livery. And when you've got a livery, if you go metallic, it kind of puts a weird shine on top of the livery, which I don't like. And so I'm going to go classic. And like I've already said, I'm actually really feeling a red for this car. Um, so I think I'm going to go with Formula Red. And because there is no secondary colour option for this car, we're going to go straight to the suspension. We're going to get the sports suspension. Then we've got the transmission. We're going to get race transmission and also turbo tuning. Now for the wheels guys, I actually really like the stock wheels on this um, and I don't think it's going to suit anything other than what we've already got. So I'm not going to purchase any aftermarket wheels because I don't really like the stock ones but whilst we are here, we are going to go into tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you go my bros, there is my build on the Grotty GT500 which was just released with the Doomsday Heist DLC. Now this vehicle looks fucking awesome i really like the way it looks i think the livery actually suits it really nicely the fact that i actually wanted to make a race car out of this says something G um rockstar ha and their styling on this car they've nailed it man i actually really like every every view of this car sometimes on some vehicles i really like the side and i really like the back but i don't like the front or sometimes i like the front and i don't and i don't like the back you know what i mean so there's sometimes on certain vehicles there's parts of it i don't necessarily like um, but on this one, just going around it, I actually really like the whole of the car. And it looks fucking pretty sweet with that livery on there too. Especially with the Formula Red. Now, um, according to Bruffy, this car isn't very good. 
uh, especially in the sports classic class, it only comes 17th around a track and 19th in uh, the top speed. So if you want it for racing, think again, probably buy something different because it's not going to be all that great, even though they've Rockstar have made it look or made you so give you the option to make it look like a race car. It's not actually going to be that good uh, in races. But if you just want to, you know, just to drive around the streets, it's not overly expensive. Yes, it is expensive because it is almost $800,000. So, yeah, in that aspect, it is quite expensive. But compared to all the other uh, DLC vehicles, it isn't that expensive. But um, I don't know if I'd want to be paying that sort of money just to drive it around free mode. But it's cool, man. It looks nice. It actually sounds really, really nice. Uh, the customizations lack a little bit, but it is a sports classic car, and you you can't really expect too much in the way of customization. Uh, but overall, it is quite cool. I, I actually like it. Um, but like I said, if you want it for racing, maybe think again, buy something different, and uh, I'd probably suggest the Turismo or the viserys obviously because the viserys is the fastest car in the motherfucking game but anyway guys that's going to be the end of the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please smash your mouth a fucking like and if you haven't already want to subscribe to my youtube channel for more gta 5 content and until next time guys i'm out adios